What has Las Vegas got to do with Atlantis High? Our principal, while at profusion, had lost the school to the Vegas mob. The mob had lost its heart to Beanie's soap powder meat sauce. What's the secret ingredient? I'm gonna make you a job offer you can't refuse. Octavia. The love of my life, Octavia Vermont, was thinking of divorcing her parents because of the dirt I'd dug up on them. I'm telling you I don't know! Meanwhile, Mum was digging for the truth about her past and getting in way too deep. Can life get any better? But before that... Listen, who cares? I can't remember. I'm too old! You're not that old. Let it go, Dennis. It'll all end in tears, let me tell you. And don't call me Dennis. A person starts digging and digging. And where does it all end? Standing in a deep hole in the ground. What are you telling me? You got no idea what you're getting into here. Well, I gotta go on. You gotta help me. It's too late to turn back now. What's going on? Ah, uh, nothing, kid. Just your mother acting weird again, that's all. There you go, joshing again. We were just reminiscing about old times. Old times? What about old times? Of course, I thought I knew more than they thought I knew. But I knew a lot more than I thought I understood. But I still knew less than I thought. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm late for school, so I gotta run. Oh, Vita, no peeking. <laughs> oh, Vita, what a beautiful name. Oh, Mr. Knight, where are you taking me? To a happy place. Oh, I can't wait to tell everybody at Happy Camp about this. They're going to be insane with jealousy. Ta da! My associates and I would like to offer you the post of principal. Principal? Me? Oh, you don't know how happy this makes me. What about Violet? Who? Oh, forget her. Violet dines with a tiramisu. Metaphorically speaking. I have so many plans. So much I wanted to do. Us too. When can I start? At once. <laughs> now for my golden dawn. Like I have this thing for you, you know? She's in my mind like a pea in a drum. I can't sleep, can't eat, except for food. You express your passion vividly without specifying the obscure object of your desires. Eh? Like, who is she, dude? Oh, her name's Bad Mood or something, but that's just like her stage name. She's a total cat person, Coach. Are we talking tight and shiny? Yeah, Coach, total photo op. You know, when the light hits her... Okay, Montana, here comes my strategy. Download. <sighs> wow, Coach, so soon. Move one, find out who she is. That is a crucially <laughs> excellent game. Captain Future? Go swing that bat! I am now taking over as principal, which means you people are going to have to shape up. I will impose standards of extreme educational excellence. There will be big, big shocks all around. For a start, you people will learn how to read without moving your lips. Oh, That's right. right. Oh, and be warned. We're talking joined up writing. Oh, yes, and I mean for everyone. <laughs> Charles, we've heard great things about you. Very impressive. You're our kind of guy. Really? Me? Now listen, Giles. As our star pupil, we want to fast track you. But me, Mr. Knight, I mean. Now don't be so jumpy. Just listen. 
We're not talking Gooba, wise guy, Baba Bing stuff here. Uh. No. We're talking business studies, overseas investment, market strategy. Oh, for a minute there, I thought... Oh, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to, to be an accountant. Question is, Giles, are you truly motivated? I mean, don't misunderstand me. We don't want any misunderstandings. Understand? I understand, Mr. Knight. So, we want you to join our happy family, but first... There's something I want you to take care of for me. C c care of M Mr. Knight? Just listen. And use both ears. You know what this is? Well, there's a place on the beach. When you get there, this is what you do. Hey! You looking at me? Hey, you looking at me? You think I'm a funny guy? You think I'm a funny guy? I make you laugh, I amuse you. I make you laugh, I amuse you. What's going on here? What's going on here? Sit down, wise guy, you might learn something. Sit down, wise guy, you might learn something. You got a problem with that? You got a problem with that? Me? No? Yeah. What is that thing? A photon lie detector. What do you think? Uh, take it away from me. Nah, that's a vacuum cleaner. You can't fool me. In that case, how long you two been married? Who? You and Mrs. Vermont. Well, it's uh, hard to say. I can't remember exactly. Was it before you joined the Navy or after? Uh, who, uh, what was it? Where did you meet? Why are you so interested in my past? Me? Just making conversation? Uh, want me to press your uniform? You could leave it on if you like. Stop doing that. What? Like doing what? I'm trying to be human all the time. It is freaking me out. Oh, chill out, babe. Don't bug me, woman. What? Beanie, I am warning you. Drop the dumb slacker routine. My parents are acting even stranger than usual. Mm. Yeah, tell me about it. I am. No, no I, I mean... Daddy is just getting so weird. And Mommy, oh wow. It's like her batteries have crashed. Mr. Darcy, would you like me to clean your board for you? Uh, no, no, don't worry about that. Did you find Atlantis? No, Mr. Darcy, not yet. Well, why not? Do I detect a lack of commitment in your mission? I mean, your assignment project? No way, Mr. Darcy. Believe me, I'm on it, day and night. Busy, 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 busy. Yeah, I'm finding out more about the mob and Mr. Knight all the time. You are? I mean, I have to do something about it. Oh, Giles, please, be careful. You think I'm doing the, the right thing? Oh, I think it's commendable. You do? And brave. Well, that's good. Yeah, because, I mean, I was, I was beginning to think Giles, I'm here for you. I want you to know that. What are you doing here? I am here to clear my desk. Really? Well, it won't take long now, will it? Let's see, shall we? Two lipstick. Ooh, one eyeliner. One jar of anti-wrinkle cream. And one well-thumbed copy of Manhunting for losers. Oh, please help me, Vida. I'll, I'll do anything. Oh, Violet, your knees are too bony to be groveling. You'll ladder your support pantyhose. But what am I gonna do? <laughs> well, Violet, I've always wanted to ask you, 
What are you qualified to do? I do have a degree in cosmetology from Bernie's of Paris with a special rosette for distinction. Really? For poodle grooming, maybe. Well, wherever you end up, you won't have Vita to cover for you. You will be sorry. Ooh, scary. See me tremble? I will get even with you, Vita. I will be back. La-di-da! La-di-da! <laughs> I have decided to appoint myself Atlantis High's teen moral counselor. <laughs> so, if anyone has any problems, just come straight to me. You know, like what to think and what to say, all the major teen etiquette problems. Just trust me. I will guide you through the awesome pitfalls of your teenage years. <laughs> Sophie, may I have a word with you? <laughs> Liver and bacon, farva bean flavored chips. Washed down with a nice bottle of Chianti. Don, can you please give me a hand here, please? <laughs> I've got to try and get this soft uh, caliber uh, out of the stone. Would you care to join me for a bite first? Actually, Don, I can't, because this is a class assignment for Mr. Darcy. Oh, yeah. I heard you had a crush on him. Even you heard? Oh, great. Well, I so don't have a crush on Mr. Darcy. Mm, sure, sure, whatever. But what I do have is a deadline on this assignment, like yesterday? Hmm, well, what you need here is the uh, three-pound ball hammer, the Gorilla Grip Monkey Wrench, maybe the uh, Grinsome Jackhammer Drill, and a fistful of chicken fat. Or... Oh. Holy tamale! Oh my gosh! How, how did you do that? Hmm, kinda easier than I thought. Just a knack, I guess. King O? King Arthur, the once and future king. And this is his sword, Excalibur. It's unique, a real treasure. Big deal, I never heard of him. What about Atlantis? I haven't found it yet, Mr. Darcy. But Don pulled this sword right out of the stone, no problem. So that means he's like King Arthur or something. Who cares? I don't think you are taking this assignment seriously. Find the lost city of Atlantis or its Fs all round for you, huh? Yes, Mr. Darcy. Next to the ring, prize show pony Antonia. I'm not his prize show pony, no way! You so are. You are going over all the jumps of Mr. Darcy. I am gagging. It is totally humongous to observe. Sabrina, go bag your face. I mean, how can he not notice you? You are so in his face. It's like he's not human or something. Yes, yes, wait one moment, please. I will maximize your career as a chat show advice teen queen and take only the tiniest, meagerest little percentage. Sophie, have you study percentages in math yet? No, Miss Profusion. We don't understand math at Atlantis High. Excellent. I see a very bright future for your particular brand of dysfunctional openness and bizarre honesty on TV. What do you say? I say... Yes! Yes, I want it all. Plus, more ice cream, please. That's right. I can see it now. Saturday night, confessional TV for the between-ager. Come on, Lou. Be reasonable. Ooh. You want a meeting? Yeah, sure. We'll be right over. Bad mood. Wait! Bad mood, come back! Say, Giles, could I borrow your pelmet sander with the rotary paint strip drill and rip saw attachment? My what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop him doing that. Uh, 
I don't know what to do. Say, Giles, did you see the game on TV? The aardvarks went 88-89 down to the chipmunks in the last kick drop gold decider. How about that? <laughs> Look at him, he's turned into a male human being married man. Say, Giles, people say the wrestling's fixed. They don't know what they're talking about. Say, guys, is that a Condor Spread Eagle Poser 2169? No, Jeff, that's, that's a Sikorsky XK7 surveillance spy cutter. It's hovering directly overhead. Oh, no! Are they looking for me? They'll be looking for you. Or any of us. Or nobody. Nobody at all. Why would anyone want any of us to? The next night, Jet and Beanie invited us round to their place for dinner, which was convenient since I was already headed that way for a rendezvous with a certain package. I think what you're doing is wonderful. So brave. Yeah, it wasn't. Dangerous. You don't think so? Please be careful. Well, I was doing it for the future. If only there were more people prepared to take that chance. Do you really mean that? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure whether or not you would approve. Approve? I think it's the most wonderful thing I ever heard of. Wow. Do you really mean that? It means a lot to me, Octavia. Hi, honey. I'm home. Oh, no. Listen, Beanie, I'm bugging with this. I'm just going next door to borrow the lawnmower. Beanie, we live on the beach. There is no lawn. There is no next door. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know where I am anymore. Now you and me both. I don't know where I'm from. I'm so unhappy. You're an alien. Get used to it. Yeah, and what's an alien, OK? There are a billion stars out there. Which one's mine? This one. Work with what you've got. What are we? Why are we here? Existence is a bridge between two states of unknowing. Excuse me, Octavia, we're having enough trouble here as it is. How do you be yourself? Some people have secret identities, don't they? You asking me? Who am I supposed to be? You are not supposed to be anything. You are who you are, so be yourself. You are an alien, so just be it. Do it. But what is it? Oh. <sighs> Let's see, shall we? You should be here for me. Why? Oh, the package I have to pick up and take them tonight. You know, if, if I do this right, then they'll, they'll really trust me and I'll be right onto the organization. Wonderful. Oh, wait, there it is. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen a shapely superhero by the name of Bad Mood pass by this area? Silver lining? But I'll take that as a no. Got it. Oh no, no. You're serious. You're in it for real. With these hoods. Like, for really real. Well, what, what, what did you think I was doing? I can't believe you're working for them. You said you were proud of me. I didn't mean that. Oh, how could I have been such a bonehead? But Octavia. I never ever want to speak to you ever again. Again. This is not never ever again like last time. This is never ever ever again. I, I did it for, for us. Us? You think there's an us? As if. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, kid. No problems? Well, I, I guess not. Great. This is gonna run like clockwork. I got that Vita eating out of my hand. She thinks this place is gonna be some big brain heaven. <laughs> ah, who knows what she thinks, dumb broad. Well, I mean, well, Mr. I, we all thought you, you know, you, you liked it. <laughs> Grow up, kid. This is business. Nothing personal.
Oh, it's you. Another bonehead. Mind if I sit here, babe? Suit yourself. But I have to warn you, I'm in a real bad mood. Did you say bad mood? That's right, bad mood. Bad mood, huh? Is that what you're trying to tell me? What do you mean, trying to tell you? I am telling you. Bad mood. Yes, I really am. <laughs> you really are bad mood. What is it with you? Do you have paraditis? Do you need me to spell it out for you? B-A-D-M-O-O-D. -O -O bad mood. What more do you need me to say? Wow! Bad mood? You? Yes, at last. It's gotten through. What? Oh, your secret. You know, it's safe with me. Pardon me? What secret? I don't have any secrets. What do you mean, secret? Hot, hot, hot! With rain on the horizon. That's just bodies on the beach, though. Shit. Sunset cold, becoming an attention seeker. Keep hey, did Mum say where she was going? Swim no. in the water, drink you don't the think water, she. Swim in the water, what? Drink the water, swim oh, never in the mind. Drink, she wouldn't swim, be that crazy. Swim, swim, swim. And tonight, it's Sophie on Saturday! wrong with me, plus banjo plucking cousin is bad sign on a first date. with the apple pie, one that was abducted by aliens. I don't know you. Get, get away from me. You're not supposed to be alive. Oh my God, it's happening again. I, I can't control my hands. It's happening again. 